This is what happens when you ask questions about the occupation on a Birthright Israel trip. Welcome back to the 10th and final day of Boycott Birthright and other free trips to Israel. Our series where we've been taking a trip of our own and following the Birthright itinerary day by day and exposing the propaganda behind it. So yesterday was actually the last day of the Birthright Israel itinerary, but I wanted to use today to really drive the point home that the solution to all of this is to boycott Birthright because when you challenge the occupation on these trips, you'll see what happens. I'm going to be talking about Emily Block's story. She posted this in 2018 and she's a former birthright goer. Emily describes her experience on birthright and particularly mentions how she felt when driving by the apartheid wall, which she refers to as a separation wall in this article, but that's a very light way to put apartheid, but baby steps, I guess. Anyway, so she asks one of the tour guides a question about the apartheid wall and she says that in response, he wouldn't or couldn't say anything about Palestinians experience on the other side and he even claims that legally israel never occupied palestine which is completely false i mean when she went on birthright when she published this article and at the time you're watching this video israel is actively occupying palestine if you've been following this series this probably isn't surprising to you because you know that birthright trips are filled with propaganda lies and false narratives but it's still shocking to see how aware birthright tour guides are of this constructed narrative I mean, if they didn't know, why else would they stop another participant from recording and even going so far as taking their phone and deleting the footage? It's because they have something to hide, and that something is 75 years of ethnic cleansing and occupation, and they are fully aware of it. So how does the story end? Do birthright goers finally learn the truth about the occupation because one of them decided to ask a question about it? I'm sure you saw this coming, but of course that's not the case because way too much time and money is put into this propaganda tool to have a few birthright goers ruin it. So obviously they were simply kicked off the trip. And that's because there's simply no room to talk about the occupation on trips like these. And you're better off listening to the demands of Palestinians and boycotting birthright and all trips to Israel. I just want to quickly say that I don't bring up Emily's experience to idolize or center stories like these, but more so to show how aware Israel is of its use of birthright as a propaganda tool, and to emphasize how important it is to just listen to Palestinians and boycott birthright altogether. Thank you so much if you've been following along the series. Definitely go check out our past videos because birthright is such an all-encompassing topic. We were able to cover things like brainwashing, restriction of movement, and the ethnic cleansing of Palestinian cities during the Nakba. There's still a lot more we can talk about, so if you're interested, definitely join us for a webinar on June 15th at 6.30 p.m. Central, where we're going to talk more about the harmful effects of birthright. But for now, thank you again for following this series.